Now, for anyone who's new to the show, what Earth, the Ducks are a powerhouse organization with a record 10 state championships. A little different than the Ducks of the 90s. They actually used to quack. <laughs> Adorable. Quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. Quack, 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 Gordon. quack. Stop, quack, quack, quack. I mean, at, at this age, if you can't be great at hockey, it's like, don't bother. Shouldn't kids be able to play sports for fun? <laughs> Let's start our own team. A whole group of don't bothers. We need me any good. No offense. No, I agree. I would not be an acid physically. I have more of a podcast body. We're going to stick together. You know why? Because we are the ducks. And ducks fly together. Quack attack is back, Jack! Quack! 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 Okay, welcome everyone to Duck Boys. Duck Boys! Give it up duck for boys. the Duck Boys. For the um, Duck Boys. We haven't actually decided if we want to add Mighty to that, but uh, yeah. but that again, we can we can get into that. We've got a lot of time to get into that because on this channel, on this project, on this podcast, if you will, this this multimedia mighty podcast we've got us three that are going to be talking about the mighty ducks new disney plus show game changers mighty ducks game changers uh, we will also dive into the rest of the series we will not touch the animated series it's too complicated mm-hmm. no, that deserves TV. its own podcast yeah so on this panel you've got three diehard Sports fans, three diehard NHL fans, diehard Wayne Gretzky fans, diehard Oilers fans, but they're also diehard sports movie, specifically the Mighty Ducks series. So we have myself, Lester, Beaver, <laughs> Dan. We've got Kelsey the Cat. Give it up for Kelsey. Thank you. It's happy to be here. We've got Andrew, the brash brother. And I really should have said my name last, but give it up for Andrew. <laughs> thank, thank you. And, and Kelsey, please tell us why you love these movies and why you're excited for the new show, Mighty Ducks Game Changers on Disney+. Plus. I grew up loving these movies. Um, I have always been a huge hockey fan, like you said, but I didn't get the opportunity to play hockey and I didn't really know where I fit into the hockey world just as a casual observer. Um, So yeah, when these movies came along, I was like really into it. It felt like a very like safe, accommodating, just jaunty space for me to enjoy hockey. And yeah, I'm obsessed with them. So I have this shirt. I have a Mighty Ducks tattoo. Perhaps we'll reveal at the season finale. That's, I don't know. <laughs> um, yes, that... Yeah. So I was so excited when I saw that. Like I didn't have Disney Plus, and I was like, well, now I need to get Disney Plus because this movie's coming out. Because I thought it was a movie. So I am learning it's not <laughs> a movie. Can't wait to dig in. That's right? such a it, good surprise. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like. Here you're getting D4, like you think you're getting D4, and instead you're getting like D4 through 24. Exactly. 23, because it is, I believe, 10 episodes. I could yeah. be wrong, but it could be 10 episodes. So, yes, oh, yeah. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on it. Yes. And I'm also excited to hear Andrew, the bash, brash brother, Merrigan. Please, please tell me why you love this movie. Tell me what you're excited for. Well, I'm an I'm an actor and a filmmaker myself, so I I haven't always been, but growing up, uh, I loved sports movies. I think like sports movies were the perfect blend of like real life drama that is like safe and okay because it's sports, and like you know the like the theatrics. So 
I mean, I like sports for the drama. So as soon as you give it a narrative and a plot and characters and stuff, I am I am there. But they didn't really have that for kids so much. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think most of the sports movies, I think that are for kids, are, it's like The Sandlot or like Air Bud. Little Giants, Air Bud. It's stuff like that. Well, but being a Canadian, re- being a Canadian kid, you know, the the Mighty Ducks, uh, the hockey, just you connect with it differently. It's like I love all sports and I love, you know, my teams and every sport, but like none of them come close to my love for for the Oilers for for NHL hockey. So I think it was that and like the Paul Korea, Timu mm-hmm. Solani mm-hmm. factor, because mm-hmm. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure I, I, I actually talked to my parents about this. I think I saw the movies after the team came into the league. So I think they went and got the movies because I was like, there's a team that is the mighty ducks and it's a Disney team. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The, the, the marketing, we were all hit very hard by this marketing and, yeah. and we're, we're, the evidence is, is clear today how, how hard we were hit, but, we, but you know what? It's a, it's a trilogy. It's a sports movie trilogy that I can watch, which I did in preparation for this podcast and I can say, you know what? Those three movies were great. I don't even yeah. need any more. But <laughs> I like it that like they waited all this time to rehash it because now I do want more. Yes, yes. And and yeah, I, I'm I can't wait. I honestly can't wait to hear both of your thoughts on the show, and and just even hearing your memories of the first time that you you, know, you watched it, you kind of the the, the pop culture kind of influence that it had on you i mean i personally i didn't know anybody with with holes in their jeans and before the mighty ducks movie so you know once once they came out you know it was definitely a trendsetter and it's a trendsetter in a lot of different ways and we're gonna we're gonna cover as many of those ways and how it influenced this next series how it influenced us personally um and and I can't wait to to discuss that and and to watch this new show. I'm super excited for it. I'm, ex- I, I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some cameos. There's going to be some references. I'm always there for a good callback. So I'm I'm ready for it. What what did we? Well, we did see the episode. So let's we talk did. about <laughs> it. Let's get into it. Let's get, get into it. it. Give us give us the, give me the breakdown of it. Give us the viewers if they haven't watched it yet. Tell us what this new era of Mighty Ducks is. Ooh just anybody yeah uh, okay I, I, i'll start but you guys have to promise to help me finish this out because of course I, that's what we're here for that's I'm what nervous about the duck all the boys are here for the duck boys are here duck boys fly together yeah true um it well it's right in the title right game changers and, game and it changers. pops off right away it pops off right away with like this is a toxic environment for children Children yeah. should not be <laughs> militarized in their minor hockey. Yeah, we meet most... we meet the new ducks. So it's like the ducks all this time have just been so successful. Ten ten times state champions, state champions. I don't know. Yeah, and that, yeah. that's definitely the motif of the show: is the ten ten state champions, ten varsity champions, they ten this, ten that. They, they became the hawks. They became the hawks. They're yes. the hawks. Yeah, they are. Yeah. But we shouldn't be surprised. We see this in sports all the time, right? The Oilers, the you know, they came from nothing. They were a WHA team. They come the into Golden the State league. Warriors. They that. they yeah, they come into the league. They they win they win five cups in what eight years? And then they become mean. Is that what you're trying to say? And then they become terrible. And then <laughs> maybe they'll become good again. But one of my point is that that sports has these cycles and and teams have these cycles and and we're seeing. You know how the Mighty Ducks started, what, how we knew and loved them. Um, yeah, but they were we, the we could see it coming, underdogs. though. We could see it coming, though. They got pretty. You know, when when they were the the varsity junior varsity teams, we could see kind of like okay, there was, there, they were playing. there was some entitlement, yes. Right, but, <laughs> yeah. and even even in D two, right? Charlie. They they're just they're all all the all the players on this team is is guaranteed a spot on on for the Goodwill Games, but true, 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 true. And then they. The only time they they had to refill some actors, I'm sure that's why they incorporated new players. But you know, they, they all, Goldberg is is the biggest uh, entitlement, right? So we're seeing these changes <laughs> all the times in the movies. We're seeing the and, and we're seeing the ultimate transition of the ducks being the bad guys. 
So that's where and that's where we begin the new episode. Exactly, is the ducks, we're getting this new. The, the ducks are the bad guys, and yeah. but um, don't love the new threads either. We the yeah. uh, the new ducks, yeah, the, yeah, du- the new no. ducks, yeah, no, I love them. And they're original though. I'll give them that. They're okay. like they're not, you know, they're sure. like a like. I'm not going to say they're the most original idea of the Ducks logo, no. but it is an original. Like, this is, is the first time we've seen you this logo. You know what it looks logo. like? It looks like the villain Ducks. It yes. looks like a, yes, a that's villain what I thought. uniform, which is hey. great, because that's what they're going for. Because oh, they yeah, are villains. Totally, totally looks like Dragonis from the Wild Wing. Oh, well, sorry. Which we're, we're not. Which we're not. We're not. We're not talking about. We're not talking about. be named. <laughs> Pod, foul. That's yeah. a foul. Sorry. Okay. Foul. Yeah. Yeah, Burn. secretly I'm actually Burn just going to like... No, I'm, he got it right away. See, I don't know. No. Dan even heard me. No, I'm um, definitely going to squeeze in as many animated Mighty Ducks jokes as I can. Well, they're references, not really jokes. Nobody's going to laugh at them, but... We laughed a little bit. <laughs> okay, so the new, new ducks are toxic. And then yes. what do we learn right away is Coach T, Dylan Playfair, mm. the only hunk for me to comment on but perhaps we'll talk about him who, later who isn't funny enough so. no no he's yeah, like a, he's toxic <laughs> he's, he is. He's, he's just a very mean man. he's just a mean yeah. and like a, is he a teenager some, like what is he like i don't he's know he's got some zingers what, though right what's his hockey oh, yeah. background does. we don't know well, but one, uh his dad was the coach of the calgary flames yeah yes. Yeah, there we go, and that's what he. Uh, no, but, but no, actually, I meant like the actual also coach. We with don't the know. Oilers. Yeah, no, I know his real. Yeah. I know. I know yeah. who yeah. he is. Um, sure. uh, okay, but so this is a very important plot point phrase that comes up. He says that like to Evan, our new Charlie protagonist, young man. Oh. He says, "If you're not good at hockey at this age, don't bother." So he cuts him from the team. Oh. Don't bother. That was, that was pretty harsh him. too. That he just yeah. kind of pulled him across, like after the the practice. I mean, but that's that's how it goes down. There's Is no that ceremony. how it goes down, or do they write it on on like a piece of paper that's posted on? <laughs> I've never played hockey. <laughs> uh, Is that how you find funny. out? Is Usually that how you find it's a out one-on-one if meeting. you're on a team? It's a one-on-one yeah, on one meeting. I don't think it's so a one-on-one much, on like, meeting in front of everyone. Yeah, but it's like it's like right at practice. Okay. Or they call your house. They they'd call your house too. What? Ooh. Yeah, that was one. What? Can okay. I, can I can I just duck these calls? Oh yeah. Terrible. Mm. Okay. You can grow. Mm. No, no. You're excited for them because you're like, please, I, I want to make the team. I want to make the team. I got the call. And you're like, oh shit. Okay, but hey. is our protagonist young Evan, or is it his mom, played Ooh, by Lauren yeah. Graham, Alex? Who goes off? Go off, Queen. She goes off and she says, "You don't bother, sir." And she says, "She she calls out. She calls out the culture. She says, you guys are crazy for like hockey should be fun. What's wrong with cheese right. cheese puffs as a snack? It's yeah, there. Yeah, she, a lot of cheese puff references. There's a lot. There's a real affirmation for food in all of this. Yes, um, but, but we, cake. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> too, too quick. <laughs> I think that's a. I We're not there yet. Spoiler. We're not there yet. I think that's, that's a spoiler. That might be a spoiler. If somebody has not seen the episode because you shouldn't that... be listening to this if you haven't. You're crazy. <laughs> you're a crazy person if you're listening. You know, to this. I want to okay, listen fine. to if... all the episodes and then I'm gonna watch the show. <laughs> okay, but if somebody has seen, if if somebody has seen the show and they're listening to this, they're gonna say, you have taken way too long I'll to even... introduce the best character to ever grace Disney Plus. Ever, yes. ever, and I'm saying ever because, because we really look at this as like the Mandalorian, as to Star Wars is Mighty Ducks game changers to Mighty Ducks being on Disney Plus. Like this yeah. is the this is the reboot. This is the rehash. They mm-hmm. have introduced a character that is so funny. My yeah. man Nick. 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 Nick the Stick. Played Nick. by who? Played by who? Played by one and only. Daniel, you don't have it? You don't oh, have man. It? I, I, the... I, I actually don't have my glasses on, so you I can't. Two... Oh, he has. <laughs> All right. It's, it's Maxwell Simpkins. Don't worry. I got the wicked. Maxwell. Page. Maxwell. Okay, okay. He's a star. Yeah. He is. Absolutely. Take my money. He's a star. Yeah. I cannot get I... enough of this kid. I feel I, like I... he even kind of inspired this project with his joke. Yeah. Like, I, what does he say? Bod. 
Yeah, I don't have I've, a hockey. I have more of a podcast body. Oh, my God. I love when he gets... Sorry, we're jumping ahead, but I just have to say, he's such great comedic timing. I love when he says, when they invite him uh, to to play, to, to be a part of this team, which is what happens next. And yeah, they start their own that. team because yeah. hockey yeah. should be fun. Let's just make a ragtag group of... Anyone and they can play. Ask him to join, and he's like, "I don't, I don't know what to say." Yes, like it's yeah. just, but it's, it's how he says it. <laughs> yeah, and it's just so good. I, I, I compared he's him pure. to a, just... a young John Candy, which oh. is the oh, most man. ultimate compliment I can give anyone because John and Candy is accurate. The best. Yeah, no, it he's... is. He has that. It he is has that like, and factor. we wouldn't, we wouldn't just say that. Like that's no. not someone that we talk. No. We don't talk no, we about. Don't, we don't bring that up. Like we don't. Yeah, we don't use that that comparison yeah. loosely. No. Yeah. So, it like, and I and I truly believe it. Like, this kid is funny, and I can't wait for more episodes with him. I can't wait to see the character development of him. Mm-hmm. And hell, I want. I'll, I'm gonna, you know, go out of my way to watch his content. I, I want to follow make... him on Instagram. Do we not have? Do we not have? Do do fifteen year old actors have Instagram still? Probably, and he's probably really cool on it. And then I'll be like nervous so i'll be intimidated <laughs> by him so i don't want to know him on instagram yet yeah no i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait okay okay am i getting audio? Um, i want to know him as nick yes but sure um in my my headphones. yeah so what else happens on the show One, so now two, we're three, assembling yeah. a team but they need somewhere to play cool where are they gonna play oh man right. and you Let's knew this Let's was coming on. right like there's yes. no way you didn't know like they, 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 you know, they get closer, they get closer, and who comes out of the shadows of this rink that they need ice time at? This hidden rink. There's just a secret this, yeah, rink in in the depths of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes. Oh yeah. And okay. there's and who there's, is it? There's smoke. Is it's it's such an entrance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who could it, it be? It's Gordon Bombay. He's. Back. The Minnesota Miracle Man. Okay, they never called him that in the in the. Did they? That's they did. They did. Yeah. Yeah. When? Jan, Jan or Han. Han Said that? and Jan. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. Okay. I, I was gonna do an impression, one but the, I, I really should. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I feel like you can still you can still do impressions. Of, no, you of, can, but I just think it would be bad. I just think it would be bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it would be. It yeah. Would be. That's, that's almost yeah. the reason to do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, get him to get him to do it because we won't. Can, we can I get canceled? Can I cancel? Get canceled three times in an episode? No, you, I'm, you I'm on. I'm on strike those, two here. Those are like the whitest people you can impersonate. This yes. Is yes. This is all yes. you have. But when you add it, as... when you add it to the long, long yeah, laundry list that I've already established in this look. short time, it's a bad look. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Gordon Bombay, he's back. Okay, Young. and I'm I'm watching the show with my nine year old son, so it's really fun. I'll pop in here and there with uh, like some of my son Oscar's takes on the show. But when he saw Gordon Bombay revealed, he gasped. That's how I know. That's how I know it transcends. Like that was a reveal. That was very exciting. Yeah. Then. Yes, this is this is like, again, this is this is the this is the Mandalorian of of hockey fans. <laughs> it's true. Like this is. And then, Mandalorian spoiler alert. This is when freaking uh, Dark Vader's kid comes back into an episode, you know? Like, mm. oh, you know, which like one? it's one. Which one? Darth yeah, Vader's exactly. Kid. Right? It's so, not a full spoiler. It's no. just like a half so, spoiler. Like and so, so, like, this is the first. So, this is the first character that we've seen reveal themselves. And, 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 but. We're seeing which Gordon Bombay is this? Is this is this the hot shot player uh, that's just been promoted to the 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 marquee spokesperson for the Goodwill Games? That's sleeping around with the Iceland trainers, Mister Big Stuff. Te- <laughs> when he has that photo shoot, Mister Big Stuff. <laughs> I love him. With the mm-hmm. slick back, with the slick back hair, or yeah. is this like the team oriented Bombay? No, it's like neither of them. It's, this is this, a it's... new Bombay, a new <laughs> frontier. A, it... This is one that doesn't. He hates hockey. He doesn't he does. like hockey. Who and could he's have a imagined? Clone of Martin Sheen. Yes, That's all he is. Yeah, he's oh, evolving yeah. into him. 
young Martin, slightly younger Martin Sheen. <laughs> yeah. But like, is replica. he young? I don't, I can't tell how old he looks I, or oh, if he's had filler. I love that you're or, saying this. I yeah, love that you're saying I, this because I can't, I can't tell no. how old he is in any of the movies. And I don't understand. I don't. That's I can't so tell. That's so true. Because he's no, young. No, because no. he's young, but he has like he has like a he's like a lawyer. He's wearing he's a floor-length suede jacket. <laughs> he's had a career in the <laughs> NHL or in the AHL. Yeah. Right, no, yeah. you can. Okay, I think there would be an episode dedicated to the canon of. Uh, oh, of, guess of, what? Of That's Gordon the end Bombay's. of the first period. Oh. Right That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we got to go cool off now. <laughs> Talking about yeah. Gordon's so, age. So for, for the one. <laughs> do we have a three minute intermission now? Is this what we have? Is this we just. We hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> BioSteel. A word well, from our good. sponsors. Oh, yes. From, from now, from Hendrix Hockey. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Big Stuff. Yeah. Mm. Well, Who do you, you think you are? You are. Yeah. We'll get the Has anyone that. heard? That's like a real song, right? That's not like. I think like, it was because some of the other is. songs in the I think are fake songs. <laughs> but they're like they're, I mean, oh, like real, like the I cover. They're actually real songs. No, no, <laughs> no, but illusions. What, what was the no? But they are kind of are right. Like, what is the cover of of? Uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Is that what? Yeah, you're like that's I'm... not that's not, like to the Bash Brothers are going to bed, and yeah. it's like. And and at the at the time you're like oh this is a rad song like, yeah this these is, guys b -b 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 baby you just ain't seen nothing and then you're like and then your parent you look over your parents are like oh man love me some Bachman Turner Overdrive but this is know? like the kids bops version of it is it, yeah prior yeah, to I kids bops mean. I know what you mean yeah I yeah. just but, I just I just think that Mighty Ducks of America song from D two is. One of the well, best yes, songs Pat. Well, but after Queen, right? Because I always thought of that too. Is that did they not have just like a, like a cover? Yeah, the Kids Bot version, like of We Are the Champions. Like that's no, they not have a the Kids real Bot, one. They blew the right? budget on that. And and <laughs> so, whoop, there it is. Tag yeah, yeah, team. Yeah, tag exactly. team. That's the best. That I think that's the musical moment for me. So D no D two definitely had the 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 music budget because D one mm. didn't right. Like D one was just kind of like. I don't think D1 had a very big budget at all. It had a score. Comparison. It had a score yeah. for, yeah. like they they all have a pretty good score, but but and then the third one. <laughs> oh, this makes such a good this is such a good segue though because I feel like part of it being a game changer and whatever is that hockey is like so expensive, and in every in every every yeah. price it movie out. they have these problems they have these problems these money problems kind of like in every movie there's like a oh, different yeah. kind of issue with finances and I. Feel feel like that's kind of now they're kind of like talking about how stupid it is that it costs this much for yeah and i think it is i think it's stupid that there's kids who want to play hockey who can't play hockey that's that's dumb yeah is this it the start is. of the second period this it is, is. it this is, is fuck is because you know what and and being this game changers and being this a podcast that you know sure we can we can ramble on about this show we we can do that but we want to uh, shed light on some other game changers in the hockey world and there are people out there that are trying to make the game more accessible and there's there's more there's more pe like more people trying to get more people into the game so this another segment of this game of this of this piece of media will be showcasing someone that is that is changing the game it's in real life you know so we we want to know who's out there if any listeners have some some people that they want to recommend that that we showcase we, we we don't care if we get them on here if we just talk about them if we shout them out uh, i would love to to even try and try and get some some funds together and and see if we can contribute let's 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 help out with their game changing initiative so i think that's something that we like all, all three of us maybe at some point felt like we were out on on the outside looking in on the game of hockey and uh but but we know how much we love it and we know how much like that there are so many good aspects of the game but we know that there's bad things and we know that there's there's things that we want to change and we want to be a part of that change so what what, what yes. better way to showcase that than than talking about 
game changers and, and and having some fun while we're at it. So second period, we've got Evan. Evan is our baby, yes. Evan <laughs> is a baby. He's the Charlie he baby. He's the reincarnation. He's not as much as a baby as Charlie. Yeah, I find he's likable. He's likable. He's, he he's a little bit like, come on, mommy. You know, he's got a bit of well, that energy, which is understandable. He's a, yeah. He, they were both mama's boys, though. They were. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that a I mean, single was mom a... thing? Should I uh, anticipate that with my son? Is he going to. Yo, Chale. Chale. Yo, Oscar. <laughs> Shout out to Oscar. <laughs> We'll get Oscar on the pod eventually. Um, Please. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Mama's boys. But that's great. That's great. Oscar's yeah. been to Arrowhead Pond. He has. Yes. We uh, we wore our shirts. I'm Reed. He was Portman because we are the Bash Brothers, obviously. Aww, and uh, yeah. No, we had a great time. Yeah. I force him to like hockey. So that's what having a kid is all about you know what perfect, though, like yeah. this is you that know, is what you're supposed to do yeah how, how old is oscar again nine nine years old man i didn't i didn't play hockey till i was nine i didn't join until i was nine yeah no he doesn't like play play hockey he's just like no but like i didn't I, like it, it but... wasn't really yeah. till like the oilers first started getting into the playoffs again that i really took to it like what you're saying is if oscar plays it could be for fun of course of there course i just want to be fun go. i want anyone can play and you yeah. can wear your horse helmet or bike helmet that's not safe but not um it's i nothing. i have notes here that so these kids that they finally get to play to join the team because they just have mm -hmm. to like is it like eight people they said like they need this team by friday yes. and um yeah these kids they don't have equipment and they show up to this weird, um, like, festival. That was uh, so weird. It's so weird. Oh, man. It's, what would you it call was, it? Like a like it an introduction, like, a ceremony? It's like if somebody was in figure skating their whole life, mm -hmm. and then they directed, and then they wrote this episode. They're like, oh, yes. of course you have, like, the figure skating opening ceremonies, and you line up, and you announce your team in front of a giant banner of your own team. Your specific team, Yeah. And and people will will show up to this because that's a figure skating thing. But that they very, said okay. Right? But in and this a, scene, I think we need to note. Well, this is also where they say their name for the first time. We'll get to that. Oh. But that coach T, he's like, this season will be full contact. So oh, and then really hammer that home. Yeah. Like, so like I think I think maybe an injury is coming. I think just I said right. it. I said it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps an injury is coming. First prediction. First prediction. But okay. Who's the, okay, but who's the injury to? Well, let's talk about the cast. I'm, I'm speechless. The, 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 the I don't roster. Know. Let's the talk roster. About the roster. Yeah, I, yeah. So we get. Because I have an idea of who it could be. We got the we got the goalie who seems to be a much more like it's a much nicer kind of I think character than like Goldberg. No, yeah. No disrespect oh, yeah. to Goldberg, but it's mm -hmm. it's like a yeah. We like hope a, he gets the appropriate he's like a help. Nice that Goldberg. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. That actor that breaks my heart. That yeah, his life absolutely is ruined that way. But but um, my, his character is much more likable. I my think. note for oh, yes. Kubler Kubler, Kubler. Uh, Kub is that he Kub said real people let you down. Like that's Ooh. one of his quotes from the first Ooh. episode. So it's like, wow, he really has a shell to come out of. And uh, yeah, I think I think we're gonna see it. So yeah. What's his oh, gamer tag? What's his game? He's a big gamer, right? Coops, What's his gamer tag? Coops thirteen or something. Thirteen. I, I think it's nice. Coops thirteen. Okay. Um, and then he reminds me of because he's got he always throws out like those very you know intellectual like sayings. He's a lot like the character from. The Mighty Ducks animated series. Uh, I, the oh. name escapes me, but the really big, the really. Uh, you guys are gonna call me out. Yeah. No, I let that. You yeah. guys are. You guys are like the NHL refs right now. You just let it go. Like it's it's yeah, late. In the, it's late. We'll in the let game. him play. We'll let him we, play. I'm hoping that <laughs> let if him I play. Let it go. Let him I talk. Let, let him talk. Take, you know, you just they'll sort it out. <laughs> that's how concussions happen. Okay. Right. That's how concussions. That's happen. right. But um, to, to, I'm serious. I, I see a lot of similarities between the like the words of wisdom that 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 both characters bring. No one knows out. who you're talking about because I don't even know who you're talking about. It's true, and she's wearing a Mighty Duck shirt. Because and like a character from the animated. No, I don't know no, who's speaking no, proverbs. Stop. 
Yeah. But you know what I will say is nice? The body positivity. <laughs> that Absolutely. That no, that's game, nice changers. That? game changing. Boom, game changer. Game changing. Yeah. Game changing. Game changing. Yeah. I like to see it. Cool. And yeah, we got a few more girls. Like we had yes. like, yeah. like we we had Connie and Tammy in the first uh Mighty Ducks, but now we've got I don't and know their names, but there are have, some more girls. Let me tell you right now. Maya Maya may though there's the pretty girl, like the popular girl, and then there's like kind of like the um Yeah, we we got Tegan uh, Burns as Maya. Maya, yeah, okay. The, yeah. And then what's the other girl? She's like, um, like she plays like the like magic Sophie. cards you mean, kind of thing. No, oh, Sophie, magic card girl. Sophie's on the ducks, and I think Sophie's that's gonna be. On the ducks. I think that's gonna be Evan's love interest, and we see her doing like accuracy shooting in this first episode, yeah, which is unheard of in the ducks franchise. There is no. no. Skill. There's accuracy now, <laughs> and she's bringing it. Yeah, no, because yeah, they have Duck to. series has been traditionally like with all just the like dangles and mesh. stuff that they've like done on Instagram now. Like they have to keep up. They have to. They do. Yeah, Justin they Bieber's should. doing I'm it hoping, on airplanes. I'm hoping for some. <laughs> yeah. I am hoping keep for up. some like higher quality content. Like we know, we know, we have the technology now. <laughs> we have the technology to have good hockey in hockey movies. It's yeah. cool. I, I'm looking forward to some of the, the on-ice sequences because they actually do have, like, amazing technology now. And Daniel and I actually worked on a commercial where a, a very skilled a camera operator went out on the ice. Oh, was, yeah. was operating a camera on the ice and, and skating around with the kids. Which Can they cool. put cameras in the puck yet? Has that happened? I'm sure mm. they could. I mean, it's just... I think it's, I have seen... Remember, wasn't that, that commercial with the... With with Marc Andre Fleury, wasn't he? Where did he have the, the camera? The, the Vegas Golden Knights. Don't they just like yeah. have a camera? Like it's like an iPhone. Isn't that an iPhone yeah. commercial? Yeah, didn't he iPhone? Yeah, didn't he iPhone it to his uh, stick or something? I don't, I don't know. know. But we're getting off topic. The cast. Yes. The cast, because we're running out of time in the second. period. In the second in period. Second period. All right, got to get the pressure um, on here. Yeah. So of course, of course, we have, um, we have. Um, what am I trying to say? We have. Gordon Bombay and we have Alex and they're kind of like the two main adults but we also have Alex's boss yeah the, uh, she's, yeah Stephanie Reddick is the character yeah name, so she's played. she's also a hockey mom and they're yeah. kind of in direct competition with each other they're like it's like a contrast and she's a, a direct she, direct competition uh, direct competition with the mom from she's on the deck her from children Alex, are on the decks. Alex's boss. Alex's boss. Kids are on the decks. From from yeah. what what from Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Yes. Alex. She's the Gilmore Lauren, mom. Lauren Graham. Lauren Graham. Yeah. yeah. Lauren Graham. And she's Shout a paralegal, out. so she's in the law world, which I think might come into play with the little Gordon Bombay. Um, I noticed that parallel right away. So. Um, oh. So, and yeah. and I, I really that. hope <laughs> bringing up Alex me. and and Gordon Bombay. I really hope they don't get together. I don't want them to get together either. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, yeah, I don't Especially see it. I don't they're... want it. I don't think it's necessary. And this is where this is where our name comes from. Is yeah. because Gordon Bombay's behavior, we call is him it... uh, we call him a fuck boy. We he's call a, him a fuck he's boy. a duck boy. He's you know? a duck it's, boy. I don't know uh, how I feel about it because I, I want him to be a positive, positive exactly role, role model for, for these, these children. Boys. But he's Especially, like this playboy, yeah. hotshot lawyer, drinking and driving. Mister Big Stuff, Mister. Mr. Big Stuff. This man. Big Shot? He's Big Stuff. I already forget. He, are we... This is... Is he a scumbag? This is what this podcast, I think, is about. Yeah. At the end of this series, yeah. we yeah. will know yes. whether or not... We Gordon will have Bombay our answer. ...is actually a good person. Yeah. Because yeah. right now, I don't know. I don't know. Especially how, I mean, he's, ev- how he movie... is acting in this first episode. He hates hockey. And his rink yeah, is, is like that? no hockey yeah. until they pay him money. But then like... What's his relationship with money? I don't know. Yeah, Why, he doesn't all, have money. Yeah. You don't have money. You were a lawyer, Ooh. and now you were in the NHL, and then like give us the answers. Yeah, yeah. what's what the I want. deal with with a, money? with a side of Nick saying funny things? My yeah, point. exactly. <laughs> did like like did I think he really must have lost a lot of money on like the the uh, the shoe deal? I think his shoe deal went went really right. bad because he the, did it. What did he call it? He called it the Air Bombay. 
Ooh. And what what could he but, have like, called it? Oh, come on, you <laughs> had it. You had it right there. You could have been the Air Gordon. The Air Gordon. <laughs> the, can you believe that? It was right there for him. It was right, right, right when here. he wants. It was right there. It's a the shoe line for right kids who want to coach. Shootout in D one, and he lost the game. He lost it for you, him. Yeah. He lost yeah. it so for he's, us. He's, he's carried, carried that. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, but mm-hmm. but one more inch, and he would have missed completely. So quarter of an inch the other way <laughs> and you could have been the air gordon the air yeah. gordon, Yo, the air got, gordon. Uh, that's, i'm calling it right Gee, there that's the second period i'm the scorekeeper the old horn from the ducks from arrowhead pond yeah I'll have to get the, yeah yeah absolutely there come the mighty ducks time to <laughs> rock and roll let's go animated series those are our stop. outtakes. You can't <laughs> Dan I'm going has for his the own sa- agenda. I'm, yeah. I'm, on, I'm we going are not for a Sam, part of it. Sam <laughs> Gagne, nine point this, animated po- series. You, you're a poser because we tried watching the animated series and you were like, this is too much, man. It's too, too much, much, man. Honestly, it when it, it was like this whole like Taltorian authoritarian society oh, that yeah. they were like oh man it was it was, it was so dark. it was dark and then it had like this sense of real like it would off often it would it would go off into john belushi's sorry jim belushi there you go a court oh god i hate when people mess that up and i may mess that up it was Jim. It was a court. It was all according to Jim Belushi's right. recollection, because he's, he's telling the police chief. And this is this whole series is an, is narrated by him, and he's like, I cannot he keeps, believe this is happening, he, Kelsey. I cannot he, believe we are now just keeps, breaking down what happens. <laughs> I want to go get another drink. Series. Are you gonna so, be yes, you should. Okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. Get this. No, no. Get this. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so he's telling this the co- the the chief of police this. And he keeps calling the chief of police Booby. That's what? not it wasn't his name, but he keeps he's like, Come on, Booby, listen to me here. And he keeps uh, calling him Booby. A, a booby is a kind of bird though. Maybe That's it's true. like a low footed oh. booby. Mm-hmm. A blue footed booby. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. okay. Well Bo- Booby Miles. I'm just saying That's he all says, I ever think of. Speaking wow. of sports says, movies, there's another the Booby Miles. Come on. What's that? Friday Night Lights. Friday, Friday Night, Night Lights. Lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. I thought it was a. I was, By the way, was... if you're ever, it, I'm doing a book recommendation now. Friday Night Lights, <laughs> the book. The book. It's actually, it was a book. What? And what's insane, very what? much like, oh, a this is book? great. It ties in. Like the game changers, like the fact that it's like, this is toxic and we need to change this. Um, that's pretty much, the book was written, the author went to go follow this team as like a like feel good like this is going to be like a great story to see these these high school kids play out their dreams on a on a, a football field no 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 he was like this is the most abusive toxic like messed up mm-hmm. experience that anybody could have and he wrote that and that's like it's funny to me that they they like ran the TV series for like so long, and it was kind of just like glorifying college football or college. Even football. when they talk high about school football. high school football, high school football, high school football. But it's like it's like the the book is very much written from a perspective of like this is very bad, which the movie kind of does, I think. Are there but it's Mighty fun. Ducks books? I would read them. No, but there's Screech Owl books. But there's comics. I could do a scre- I could do a Screech comics? Owl. There yeah, but it's based off the animated series. I bet there's books. No animated series talk. Screech allowed. Owls. That's sick. That's like a. That's such a throwback. Screech oh, owl. I could do. I, I honestly, this could spawn into a Screech Owl podcast after this. Well, you you can do that with you can do that, but we're here alone. For game changers. Yeah, yeah. And we're and guess what it is? It's time to start the third period um and with that i'm gonna buy this d2 uh paperback the mighty ducks are back junior novel so i would like to read that i would like to read this she got that needs an episode that's that's a backbreaker right there man that's an that's a early third period goal you just gave up kelsey's on the board with that one and know that it it, what do you guys want to know what rank it is in the top 100 one million two hundred and four. 
<laughs> there's that many books. Think how many f- words that is. But there's That's two reviews and it's got five stars. So I Boom. do it. We'll I, write it off. I, we'll, we'll, I, we'll write it off. Duck Boys. Duck Boys are back here with a third period ready to drop the puck. Yeah. And we're going to drop them with what what didn't you like about this one? There's always plot holes. There's always things that were like, what? Mm-hmm. Why did this happen in the Mighty Ducks universe? So I'm glad they kept that so that we can we can have some criticism. What what do you guys got? Let's let's throw some segments from the episode into the penalty box. Let's go. Andrew, the okay. brash. Okay, I have a I have a I have a strong. You know what? I I thought about it. I thought it was a game misconduct, but I, I you know what? It's early in the season, and I don't I don't want to I don't want to set a tone that I can't keep up. Maybe I, like but 10 I am minutes. Give a, I am yeah, I'm going to give a 5 minute major out though. 5 minute major. Uh, okay. And it's a uh, it's it's to the it's to the writers and the director who who orchestrated that that figure skating uh, sequence at the end. I was uncomfortable. It went on too long. I was uncomfortable because I could tell from a filmmaking perspective that it was definitely not Lauren Graham and she looked really really uncomfortable on her skates. It might have been better if she was a little bit more comfortable, but it's not really her fault because they cast her and they gave her the job. Oh, come uh, on. You want to tell me that a, a descendant of Doug Gilmore like isn't good stop, at skating? Stop. That's not who so she is. So what happens is the, the she Doug Gilmore mentions... Girls? We have to tell our people yeah. maybe they haven't seen or they are not quite... They're not they refreshed. haven't made it all the way through. They haven't made it all the way through the episode to see the end, because I think this is the ending scene. Do they not end it on is. this? No, it um, is, and oh, that's yeah. what I was also. I was also. I wasn't. I didn't like that. Like no, I mean, no. It like I this show. You, somebody, always, like it ends abruptly. Somebody, somebody who fake who has a background in figure skating wrote this episode. Yeah, they, yeah. That's okay, my theory. This is the second. That's <laughs> the, my theory. Okay. okay. Um. So yeah, but like. Because Gordon Bombay is very, like, he's not that receptive to Alex. Like, he doesn't really want her there coaching her team uh, it, until she can, like, she offers him a piece of paper amount of money that we don't get to know. Um, and But she says that she used to figure skate and she did a routine to a Whitney Houston song and then... What? How does it even come about? Gordon makes her like. There's a lesson yeah, in consent here very, as well. It was all very like, con- what was it like a yeah. public felt like she just somehow got out there doing that, and and he just yeah. Like, why to, was like, she on? Is she on skates? Why did he watch the whole time? And I, he had was, like a. I'm surprised he didn't throw it a beach ready. ball. Like, yeah, I love when he's like, you know, when it when when, when there's segments when uh, when everybody's just skating around having fun. Right, like then he pulls out the when there's no sticks and there's no pucks, he pulls out the beach ball. Uh, so I was really surprised that the beach ball didn't didn't make a cameo there. No, just like Nick just like hucks the beach ball at her or something oh, like that. Yeah. So we get a slapstick moment at the. No, end but I thought it was cute know. that the kids like they see her skating and they're like, "Yeah, here we go, mom!" That like cute. that. That was cute. Mm-hmm. They were like all yes, for it, it and then she's like, that. "Oh, she looks good out there!" Like they're like hyping yeah. her up, which was nice. That was a that nice was moment. Nice, I like characters being nice to each other. But a man telling you you have to figure skate for him, like, no, there's no way. Even even if you wanted to a little bit, like, you wanted to see if you could still do it. It's just, like, because of the circumstance, like, I wouldn't be comfortable. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't so. know. He's, and he's, you know what? He's just like one step too close to Charlie Sheen for me sometimes. Classic, you know? classic Gordon Bombay. <laughs> yeah. But is but, he uh, flirty? Like, is there any yeah, chemistry there? It. Like, is understand. it flirting? Is it hazing? I don't it know. Felt kind of, it kind of yeah. felt like, a, I don't know. It just kind of felt weird. And I, it just, it gave me oh, a little yeah. bit of a predatory vibe. Mm-hmm, I don't know. Because mm-hmm. she was really vulnerable out there. I think the I lighting was also, it was a bit yeah. dim. It was, it was kind yeah, of a spooky like, so uh, is time Is this a romantic thing? Because I don't want it to be a romantic thing so i guess maybe that's why I because we don't want them to hook up don't five minute major to i don't want them to hook up writers so i would like them to be friends family. yeah absolutely yeah um but so, what are you, do you have any other any I, do you oh, guys want to even up the calls the here thing that i think we all agree should be oh apparently. don't like even minor i think bother you know. yeah oh gosh do it's we bad. even have to 
So it's not, it's just not, they it's show not a up. Name. The team shows up to this sports night spectacle, and they're like, "We have another team. Like you, th- like they're a surprise last team Sweet. enrollment." And then Coach T is just like, "Okay, what's your team's name?" And they haven't thought of this yet, and they reply with, "The Don't Do Bothers." And and the only callback i can even get out of this is that it's a sentence yeah like it that it's on a grammar level like the mighty no, ducks like mighty that's, is adjective right? it's an adjective so, right yeah. so this is so don't what? don't bother is that what is that a verb the oh, bother it's a sent it's like a it's yeah, like it's a don't sentence fragment bother. it's what it is it's, yeah yeah you can't it's a verb that they're trying to make into a noun right into yeah. a pronoun it's weird i don't I don't like it because I don't I don't think it rolls off the tongue. I get where it comes from. Yes. I understand it's like what they're trying the to story, say. But, but, like, but like couldn't like, they have done something like funnier like we're the apathetic sloths? Okay, you Kelsey, you 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 <laughs> are the coach. You are the coach of the 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 the, the to be named this this group of misfits. What okay. do you name them? What what would be your choice of names? Apathetic sloths. I don't know. Like something. Apathetic it has sloths. To be, it has it to be still an has animal, an adjective. and it has to because animals are so cute. Yeah. As and it a, has to have if you follow Mighty Ducks formula. Yeah. Adjective followed by ducks, animal. Because ducks ducks don't even okay. have teeth. Like it's like it's not a a common like an right. it's not like a fierce animal. So Sloth. I would pick like a funny animal, and then like a a word to describe. Andrew, what do you got? What do you got? For me? <laughs> Adjective animal. Yeah, adjective animal. The resilient cuttlefish. Mm, mm. Oh, that's you know nice. Why? The cuttlefish, like learned, like it showed, it showed that it could, it could hold back on, on in a recent study, the cuttlefish, <laughs> uh, showed that it could delay gratification with food because it had learned that if it waited. It got more food, and oh. that's crazy because uh, outside of like primates, nothing has ever done that before in an actual study. Outside so, of like that, we uh, know of. out of out of exactly duck boys, that we know of yeah, duck we don't boys know who inter- intermittent fast. <laughs> what private studies they're conducting? That's true. It could be anything, but anyway, yeah, I, the resilient cuttlefish because they're super okay. smart. They're poisonous. They're really good hunters. And, you know, resiliency. Okay. That's resiliency is so damage. important. Anytime my Plus son, like, demonstrates, nice like, a admirable behavior, instead of being like, you're so tough, you're so strong, I always say, you're so resilient. Mm, I'm teaching him about oh, yeah. resilient. Too, right. Yeah, resilient yeah, that's cuddling. important. Resilient cuddling. What about you, Dan? I had a name. It doesn't follow the formula. But I would have went with... Uh, with the cake eaters, I would have went. I, I if I was writing this show, I would say this team is. the But cake twenty eaters. years later, you have no former association. How no, would you, they have you gotten take, there? Because they kept calling it to each other, so I feel like at some point they would have like it would have transcended. It and been like, you know what? We like time. cake, and we don't care about it. Like we'll eat cake. So I feel like I, f- I feel like at some point the writer should be like, hey, what what about a team called the Cake Eaters? Because so Cake that, Eater Cake Eater was a bad thing. Like that was, it was like a, a, bad, a derogatory exactly. yeah, term. It was like it's what and, they called and, and, each and other. To... And that's not just in the the movie. That's like actual local Minnesota slang. It is. is. That, it means is like that, rich, is. like privilege. Yeah, bad, yeah, like bad. a very oh. Mary Antoinette. Mary Antoinette. Like, Antoinette we'll cake. like let them eat cake. Cake eater. Um, yeah, because, so yeah. You cake eater. Cake so eater. get out of here, cake and eater. I thought. I who just... caught the duck egg of Gordon mm. Bombay, Emilio Estevez, <laughs> eating cake with his hands because he rents out the ice palace to, like, birthday groups and he doesn't want to have hockey there. And he but is he a gets, How long has that cake eater. been there? He gets the Shout cake. To, uh, I honestly the thought. Coco, the Coco, the concession girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forget. I uh, Hang on. Find out it's um, Winnie. 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 Oh Winnie, yeah, that's a, Winnie. Winnie. Yeah. And yeah, Gordon eats the cake with his hands, and then he offers it to Alex. I, personally, and... I thought that was a callback to Free Willy when when they steal the cake off of in the opening scene when they steal the ca- cake uh, out of the garbage or off somebody's uh, like the leftovers. They take and then they start eating the cake on their hands. 
Free Willy. I, I thought I th- Free Willy. Free, Free Willy was filmed. Shot in Vancouver. Shot in Vancouver. Free Willy, a better Mighty name Ducks. than Don't Bothers. We are the Free Willies. <laughs> we are also the shot in Vancouver. Mighty what Ducks else? Game Changers. Was it? Boom. <gasps> Boom. How much? Canadian content, who's baby. Canadian? Who's Canadian? Because Canadian. the the young there's the Toronto kid. Uh, but yeah, there's there should be more. Oh no, well, yeah, there's a Canadian kid. Well, there's there's Charlie Conway who starred in Dawson's it's... Creek, Minnesota. Uh, who, who I... Dawson's Creek? That's a place in British Columbia, okay. Canada, right? How about a? How that's about where a little, it was set in, right? How about a little minor penalty to okay. the um, the costumer slash? I guess it would be direction a little bit, art direction and and costuming. That. They are really big on the Minnesota Wild. I get it; they're in Minnesota, but you know, throw in some some Minnesota. No, North I love it. Stuff in there. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. No. North, I want, yeah. I, want, I think we can no, see want, some North stuff want, for sure. Yeah. I want Nick. I want Nick, not Nick. But I want you Evan think, in a in a in a North Stars jersey. That's yeah. what I want. But yeah. but but the state of Minnesota still loves their Wild. Yeah, I know. Right? Shout out to the to the the Golden Gophers. You know, they get some love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a so there's the, an adjective. Oh with yeah, a, Minnesota. With a, with a, Minnesota. With a, an adjective with a with yeah. a non a golden yeah. gopher. Yeah. Like that's golden so gopher. much better. They could have been anything. They could have been anything. They, they could have been anything. Uh oh. You know what that is? That is the third period's over. Which third period. Third star. Three. The third star. The third star. The, the, third star. Star. the, the, the North third. Stars. The second and the, the first stars. star. The North Star. Third the Northern stars. Northern third stars. Okay, so what'd you guys think of this episode? I feel I was excited. I was like, I want more. I want, I want more. more. I'm excited. I, yeah. I'm excited. I, I wouldn't I start it. a podcast if, it, about it if I was not excited. I thought it was a movie. Guess what? It's not. It's a whole show. There's so much more. Surprise ever. For, so yeah. You wanted, you wanted two hours of this? No, no I was talking no. to Dan, and you I was like, D4. oh, I'm going to, like, yeah. It was like 41 minutes. I was like, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, but three, three stars. Third star, let's... Third star. Third star is going to go to the cute boy, Logan. Ooh, so Logan. there's like, they need... It's so far, it's just Nick and Evan. They're like, who are we going to get on our team? And then... I'm doing the hair flip. Can you tell? I'm doing Yeah, the yeah. So dreamy. I'm bald, if you're not watching. There, <laughs> listen to his bald hair flip. Um, <laughs> so they're like, where are we going to get more players? And literally, like, a moving van oh, new, shows up with town. Ontario plates. Shot. Guess who comes out? A gorgeous Justin Bieber-esque... Oh hunk of a they're 12 Adam to 14 Hall. they're 12 to 14 exactly. and uh so we're, we're we're not actually he's, saying he's out there he's rocking the, the saying he's meant to be attractive to 12 to 14 year old exactly exactly which and was what the rock. mighty ducks movies were to me it was just like these are boys i <laughs> have you. crushes on here's oh, a new who, who did you have a crush on kelsey who oh was my God. The, the well adam crush? banks i think adam oh. banks was he, like this is adam banks this is this is the adam banks reincarnation this is the exactly yeah exactly yeah so That's obviously nice. i think he's great but then i also kind of had a crush on everyone um the, the so. best part of is his like reveal right yeah, so like we're we're like oh he's got like he's wearing a oh. Maple Leafs jersey and they're like he's got nine hundred dollars skates like oh my god yes he doesn't even know he's gonna join our team this is awesome guess what he can't skate he's bad at hockey it was so he's funny it was so funny it. is he is he doing a trick or something <laughs> you know we should have seen it we should have <laughs> crashes it <laughs> and have you ever seen a a guy show up at at you know recreation hockey profe- you know the outdoor rink with a Leafs jersey on though and be good we should have seen i i was duped this yeah. show duped me yeah i thought this kid i was like oh man they got they have their literally like this has got to be his son this there his he has his like adam banks is going to show up here sorry because adam banks was really good A- adam, ba- yeah, adam, adam banks yeah banks like a secret weapon it's the equivalent player. of the dude who shows up to to hoop in like yeah. full gear like in yeah. full like he's got like he's got like the like but authentic that's the, the, that's the authentic, main... like jersey. and the arm the arm and thing he's, those yes, arms oh, yeah, yeah. He's got does he have one of those arm sleeve. things he's got a shooter that's sleeve me. he I, absolutely I, I, does I, wear, I rock those and exactly see this is this see what we're finding out see what we're finding out you but like you should you're bad at basketball was, <laughs> i'm bad at basketball yeah I, I love shooting a ball, but man, you put one human in front of me and I cannot shoot the ball. You gotta go. I gotta go. Um, so, yeah. So second star. Second star. Second star from your 
Am I gonna do my, it? Is f- Junior Goodwill Games. Uh, Gordon Bombay. Hendrick Hockey. Gordon. It's gotta be Bombay. Gordon. It's gotta be Gordon Overtime Bombay. Time winner. All right. Gordon Bombay, because he's back, and it's exciting. The Quack and it's Attack like, is back, Jack. The Quack Attack is back, Jack. Gordon Bombay, like, he's such an important character, and now he hates hockey, so it's just like, tell me how we got here. I, oh, like, give me I this gotta arc. Know. I, I gotta mean, know. I, I think he yeah. gets, the, I think he gets the, the second star on the reveal alone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. Right. Yeah. Because you could so hear like, his voice. Yeah, because through the mist, he's just like, oh, can I help you? And, like, I knew right away. But then my nine-year-old son, like, didn't know. And then, like, when he stepped through, he was like, oh! And he gasped, and it was very special. So, yeah. Second star. And now, num- and first star, oh. number 69 from Don't Bothers. He wouldn't be Nicholas. 69. Oh, Nicholas is wearing 69. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He's a nice boy. He's not a duck boy. He's not a duck boy. No, he's... And I what, have a feeling... What? He would just I take, like, whatever feeling. number's available. Like, he would. What number? He's just yeah. happy to get a number. He, yeah. I'll, I'll get the number with the most surface area. Yeah. Exactly. He'll get a nice 88. Oh, man. There you go. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Born uh, 88. How old is that? Old enough. Too old. Uh, so number one, Nick. Nick, yeah. he's so oh, funny for Nick. like a child so actor funny. character. Like very he, natural. He has everything, and he kind of like, yeah. He's got rep- me coming back. He's got me coming back, and I, I honestly hope that if you, if you are, if you have gotten this far in this, that, and if you have not seen the show. You will watch it just just to just to keep an eye on this kid. Like just, he yeah, is he's, he's so really what he's about. He's so wonderful, and he kind of represents like this like plucky, unsuspecting character in like a hockey genre. Like he's yeah. so yeah. he is such. He he's is like the complete antithesis of like Dylan Playfair's like, yes! character. Right? Yes, yes. Like, he's like the yeah. complete opposite. Because no, even just... Evan wants to like. Even Evan would like to prove to coach t that he's good enough to yeah. be a duck like yeah whereas like nick is like so comfortable in his own skin and who oh. he is and yeah what he's about yeah he's just this is, soft yeah. gentle young man and yeah. i absolutely think there is a place for I'm him so and others happy. in hockey <laughs> but that wraps it up for for the game the episode episode the one we had a lot of misconducts on that episode we had a lot of callbacks and, and and I can't wait to, to talk about more about Mighty Ducks Game Changer, and and and, uh, and on future episodes we really want to hear from you, who is changing the game in your community, who is making hockey a better place, and we'll do it. TBD. <laughs> and we'll do it. We'll do it. And we, we'll we'll bring we'll bring some people next episode we'll because want to know some names and some organizations. Want to know why? Want to know why? Because. Because duck boys fly together.